Hey, welcome! In this one, you'll be learning all the details and the impact the proposed $25 billion Nigeria Morocco natural gas pipeline will have on the African economy. This project is huge and is currently in the second phase of the front end engineering design. The project will make it possible for Nigeria to supply natural gas to many West African countries, including Europe. Nigeria is already a global player in oil and gas exports, with a proven natural gas reserve of more than 192 trillion cubic feet. In fact, the construction of the Nigerian LNG Train 7 was recently inaugurated. This will increase their production capacity from 22 million tons to 30 million tons per annum. This will also attract foreign direct investments of more than $12 billion. There's also seven critical gas development projects currently going on simultaneously to improve local gas supply and support power generation to the tune of 15 gigawatts. Before the idea of the Nigeria Morocco gas pipeline was conceived, the Trans Saharan gas pipeline was on the table. This pipeline would have supplied gas to Europe from Nigeria through a restive territory in the Sahara Desert and all the way to Algeria and Europe. That project, which would have cost up to $20 billion, has been abandoned in favor of the Nigeria Morocco gas pipeline. The viability and advantages of the Nigeria Morocco gas pipeline completely outshines that of Nigeria to Algeria. This has made the Nigerian government to abandon the project proposals entirely. All parties involved in this huge $25 billion Nigeria Morocco gas pipeline are doing their very best to see that the construction of this pipeline comes to fruition. When construction of the Nigeria Morocco pipeline is completed, Nigeria will be directly competing with other countries that currently have pipelines that supply gas to Southern Europe. If you are enjoying this video, give it a huge like and remember to subscribe to our channel and enable notification. Thank you very much. Before we get into the details of this 5,660-kilometer gas pipeline, let's see how subsea pipes are laid. The laying of subsea gas pipelines requires high-tech engineering. The seabed is thoroughly surveyed over the whole path of the pipeline. They will be looking to avoid many obstacles like rocks, sunk ships, and even unexploded bombs. When these obstacles are identified, they will either remove them or find a way around them. After the survey, the pipes, which are coated with anti-friction and concrete, will be shipped to the pipe laying vessel for welding to start. The reason they coat inside the pipes with anti-friction is to prevent resistance when the gas is pumped. Also, concrete coating on the outside gives it a negative buoyancy, which will result in the pipes sinking when it is dropped into the sea, because the concrete increases the weight substantially. The pipes are also treated with other anti-corrosion materials to prevent rusting. From the pipe laying vessel, workers will start welding the pipes. As they are welded, they are passed through a conveyor and gradually lowered onto the seabed. All welded joints are tested with an ultrasonic equipment to identify defects before the pipes are passed to the conveyor. Now that we have seen how subsea pipes are laid, let's see the roots of the pipeline, how it will make its way from Nigeria to Morocco and eventually Cadiz in Spain. But first, let's see where the gas is coming from. The gas is coming from the Escravos Lagos pipeline system, which was built in 1989. This system is a vast network of pipes spanning more than 514 kilometers in length. The pipeline was built to serve many power plants around Lagos and the western states, 
and to also serve the domestic gas market. The pipeline starts deep in the Niger Delta region and goes all the way to Lagos. It is the lifeline of many power plants in Nigeria. Even some heavy industries that need gas are serviced by the Escravos Lagos pipeline system. There are many gas plants that supply gas to the pipeline. They include the main one, the Escravos gas plant, Utorogu gas plant, Oben gas plant, Odidi gas plant and many others that are currently under construction. The Escravos Lagos pipeline is the same pipeline that feeds the 678km West African gas pipeline system, which serves Benin Republic, Togo and Ghana. You can see the equity distribution of the West African Gas Pipeline Company Limited. This pipeline system has a capacity of 180 billion cubic feet of natural gas per year. So it makes perfect sense for the Nigeria-Morocco gas pipeline to continue from where the West Africa gas pipeline stops, which is somewhere in Takoradi in Ghana. From Takoradi, the pipeline will move to Cote d'Ivoire. It depends on the city where they will build the gas gathering facility. It could be Abidjan, their largest city, or San Pedro. After Cote d'Ivoire, the pipeline moves to Liberia, then to Sierra Leone. Sierra Leone has a lot of beautiful islands. They even have banana islands like Lagos. <laughs> After Freetown, the pipeline will head to Guinea Conakry. It is around here that Mali might decide to connect to the gas pipeline because the distance from Conakry to Mali is under 400 kilometers. After Conakry, it will move to Guinea-Bissau. Guinea-Bissau has a beautiful archipelago that draws tourists to the country. After Bissau, the pipeline will move to Senegal and Gambia, landing in Dakar and Banjul, respectively. After here, it heads to Mauritania, landing anywhere around the coast or the capital city, Nokchot. From here, it will continue up north to Western Sahara, and after that, it will get to Morocco, landing in any of their coastal cities, either Casablanca or the capital city, Rabat, or it might go further north to Tangier, since the Maghreb Europe gas pipeline already passes through Tangier to Europe, yeah, Algeria pumps gas to Morocco and Europe through this pipeline. After Tangier, it will head to Cadiz in Spain, the final destination. Wow, this will be a very long pipeline system, 5,660 kilometers in length. Impressive. This project has moved quickly from concept to proposal and after many meetings of the Nigerian and Moroccan governments, it looks like the project will be a reality very soon. A feasibility study has been conducted on this project in order to ascertain the viability and expediency. This will help all parties involved to understand everything about the project before committing time, budget, and finance to the project. This project is a sure way of boosting national revenue for Nigeria because demand for gas will only continue to grow. Right now, natural gas makes up more than 20% of world energy demand. So, demand for gas will definitely continue to grow in the next decade. Natural gas is used to run thermal power plants that generate electricity. It is also used for heating and other applications. It is one of the cheapest and cleanest burning fossil fuels. There is already competition in Southern Europe. They have gas supplies from Russia and the Trans-Adriatic Pipeline, which comes from Azerbaijan. Nevertheless, this nigeria morocco pipeline will foster healthy competition and improve gas supply security in Southern Europe. 
price reductions are projected as a result of this competition. Funding for this huge $25 billion project is not known for now. But huge projects like this normally won't have a problem of finance. It will be the longest transnational pipeline in Africa that will supply natural gas to many African countries and Europe. Many European banks will be more than willing to finance the project. Even the African Development Bank will back this kind of project because the project will bring the much needed natural gas closer to many emerging markets and economies in Africa, which will in turn boost their economies and create employment. The project will also bring competition to gas supply in Europe. The overall impact of this gas pipeline will be enormous in the African countries that it will pass through. Provision of clean and available energy source is a sure way of industrialization and employment creation. It will also increase productivity and power generation projects in the region. Many of the countries that depend on imports of natural gas will now have gas available at their backyard. Construction of the Nigeria Morocco Natural Gas Pipeline is expected to be done in phases and might take up to 25 years to complete. We look forward to the start of this huge project after the front-end engineering design is completed. The West Africa Gas Pipeline was built by Wilbros, a US company that used to have a Nigerian subsidiary. For the construction of this huge project, the authorities should make sure that Nigerian companies are considered for the project. There are a lot of local Nigerian companies that can fabricate gas pipes that will be used in the project. Okay, wonderful people, we hope you enjoy this Nigeria Morocco Natural Gas Pipeline video. Make sure to like the video and push the subscribe button if you haven't done that. Till next time, thanks for watching.